Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. I thought we'd take a look at Nick Faldo today, six-time major champion. Um, and I'd say one of the first guys really with the, the camera generation and his work with David Ledbetter to really start to hone in on the technique and try and sort of optimise it. Um, I think his relationship with David Ledbetter was the first of its kind. Previous to that, you didn't really see coaches and players working together on the Tuesdays and Wednesdays at tournaments, where now I think the majority um, tend to do that. I think previously to that, it was more the players would help each other and you'd really just try and work it out yourself with maybe some advice with your, your local pro. So... Let's have a look at Nick Faldo's swing. So it's a swing that I've looked a lot at, um, especially growing up in, in the 90s. He was the guy sort of everyone was trying to beat. And I think later in his career, he got criticised a little bit for his swing becoming less dynamic. Um, I mean, even in that era, I remember watching him do a clinic and uh, his ball striking to me, and I've seen most of the, the top players in the world and best ball strikers there's been, and it was still one of the most impressive sights I've seen of control and power. But I think ultimately later in his career, he got a you know, little bit too strong in a way, in not golf-specific muscles, and he just didn't have the sort of lean, fast muscles that he needed. I think also he was from a different era where... Really, this game was about control, you know, working the ball, draw, fade and, and control. Um, and then with the change of the ball and the change of the clubs, his game just wasn't really designed for that. His game was designed about accuracy, um, and rhythm and tempo and shot making, where today's game, those are important elements, but really it's much more of a power game. Um, so let's have a look at his swing. So in terms of the first move, we've got our shaft plane line there on the gain. Hands stay very much inside and work up that line. Club heads perfectly on plane. Face is really nicely matching our spine angle. You know, these are all elements that really modern coaches and players are working on today. And I think he's one of the real first sort of modern looking golf swings. Great looking halfway back position, arms in the centre of the of the body. Shaft is just going to point just inside the ball. You know, totally orthodox, great looking top of the backswing position. Club face matches the left forearm, if anything, just slightly more open. Left arm matching shoulder plane. And now Faldo is going to have this slight shallowing movement that really pulls and keeps the club in front of him fantastically well. He's, so he's hitting a little cut here from the line of the club coming down. Um, you know, and this is a position I'd say really all slightly stronger, more powerful hitters to copy, to be honest, because look how quiet his lower body is and how that shaft is really nicely on plane. I think what I tend to see a lot when better players go off that club shaft angle there will tend to get much too shallow here the lower body will start to outrace the upper body too much and we start to see sort of shaft angles coming from this position here and everything's just working too in too out and we can't match anything then and we get hooks and blocks you know fantastic looking impact position and everything then moves and and keeps turning through. Now he would talk about, we can just talk about this actually, because we can see he's hit a fade here. He'd talk about sort of this chicken wing arm in his through swing. So maybe a lot of guys today now would work that shaft and club head a little bit more sort of low left. Well, you can see actually through this phase, his arms, club head, if anything, sort of work upwards a little bit more. But if we look at that left arm angle there, this is something that I've read that he specifically would do. He'd sort of try and widen this angle here for his fade because that would restrict the releasing of the club face and, and he could hit this power fade without a worry of the club rotating and in, in hitting the shots left.
But, you know, like I say, late in his career, he was criticised for not being as dynamic. But as a model, I really feel you can't go far wrong still copying this. Um, let's have a look at him from face on. This was slightly earlier footage. He's still got the wooden club. But, you know, fantastic looking setup. I always like to see we drop lines from our shoulders. They should intersect the middle of the feet. And that's really going to get the the right width of the stance, but also the right orientation in terms of the, the shoulder position relative to our feet. And we can see how on looking at that front line, the, there's a smaller gap than on the uh, left-hand side or sort of behind the ball. So this gap here is bigger. So you can see that his hips are just slightly pressed forward relative to his, his shoulder position. Um, let's take him up. I mean, great sort of takeaway, real fantastic looking position. He had quite a strong, I think one of the movements, or a couple of movements Nick Faldo did in his swing that I think you're seeing less of now, is one, he had a more of a upper body movement off the ball so you can see that he's got i know but charm will talk about often half a head width maximum so you can see he gets that nice half a head width movement off and then he's going to try and get back to where he started and then everything keep moving through. I think today, you know, the swing's gone a little bit more. You would see him a little bit more centred um, throughout the swing and less movement off, mainly due to the, the design of the clubs. And it's not so noticeable. I mean, this is Nick Faldo very late in his career. I may post something um, a bit earlier. And he would have a sort of more vertical movement here and then a stronger shallowing movement and I think today you'll you'll see less swings of that nature but you know again if you really want a model I don't think you can go far wrong copying Nick Faldo's swing